My name is Ryota Takawa. I was born with bad vision on my right eye. Apparently, it's a genetic trait, and I've been seeing the eye doctor all my life. Oh, it's a group of popular people. I have some time. I'll take a detour. So I was a little skeptical about seeing an eye doctor I didn't know about, but never would I have known this would be the biggest decision of my life. There's another path here, if I remember correctly. Ouch! Did I get dust in my eye? I don't have my glasses with me right now. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll go in there. Excuse me? Ah, oh, I guess no one's here. Hello. Ah, oh, I didn't see you there. She's very pretty. All right, I need your insurance card. She made me a hospital ID after I showed her my insurance card. I got my eyesight checked after taking my contacts out and was led to an examination room. I noticed that the doctor named Kiria was the only person here. I see there's no scratches on your contacts and the pain came from a stray eyelash inside your eye. You should be good to go. I see. Yeah, my eye doesn't hurt anymore. Good. On another note, your eyesight is the problem. 0.9 for left and 0.15 for right. I heard it's genetic. That's the same for me, actually. Until a while ago, I had a vision of 0.9 for left and 0.15 for right because of my genes. Oh, wow. I guess it is pretty common. I'll gift you this pair of glasses. Huh? Oh, no thank you. I'm trying not to look like an otaku by wearing contacts. This pair of glasses are pretty special. If you wear it and make a wish, you can go back to September 15th. Huh? However, there's a condition. Only people with vision of 0.9 for left and 0.15 for right can use it. And you can't go back in time prior to obtaining it. And your eyesight gets worse and worse each time you use them. So you can't use them as many times as you want. So it's pretty flawed. But if you use it wisely, it will definitely come in handy. <laughs> you must be kidding, right? I'm serious. I mean, uh, I guess I can accept if you're willing to give them to me. Good luck to you. After that, I put my contacts back in and went to the second period class. I felt a little lucky that lunch break came quicker than usual. I was silently observing my classmates who were hyped up for the culture festival, since I generally didn't have any friends. The festival was planned for two days, starting September the 26th, Saturday. What? Akiho, you have bento today? It's almost the culture festival, so I thought I would practice to cook. Right, my class is doing a cafe. I wonder what role they're going to make me do. You don't have to try so hard. It's just pancakes. I guess the class representative has a strong sense of responsibility. We're getting money from this, so we should do our best. She is Akio Asami, the class representative. She's pretty, smart, and is popular in class. She's loved by everyone. Plus, she's kind enough to talk to a nerd like me. Though I understand I shouldn't get any hopes up about getting any of the usual teenage experiences. Then Akio-chan, let's go do research on pancakes at a cafe together. I see. Then I'll take you to some place with good food. Huh? Why with you? Why? Are you not satisfied with me as your company? Calm down, guys. It's a nice opportunity to go out with all of us. I wonder if my life would be different if I could casually talk to girls like Shigeru. After having lunch, I took a big nap. Ordinary days, just like any other days, went by with no unusual happenings. It eventually got to September the 15th. I feel like there was something on the 15th. What was it? <sighs> oh shoot, I stacked it up too much. I should pile them together before my mom decides to yell at me. Ah, this should do it. I came to school right after, and as the day went by, I wondered what today was about. The school has already ended. I had no assigned job for the preparation for the culture festival, so I was about to head home. 
Ryota-kun. Huh? Me? Could you help me for a bit with prepping for the festival? Miran and Shigeru went out to buy supplies. Oh, ha, sure. I'll help. To think, Akio-san would come talk to me. About this. Asami-kun, could you lend me the scissors? Scissors? Hold on a sec. Oh, I have a lighter for the fireworks happening later. Let's cut it with this. Sounds fun. Fireworks, huh? I knew something was happening on the 15th, but it's a celebration of finishing the preparation for the festival. I think I saw in the group chat. I never got invited in person, so I completely forgot. Hey, Eiji, what are you doing? Oh, shut up, Hikari. Using the lighter or the scissors makes no difference. Don't be such a brat. Asami-san, can you say something to them too? You're right. Let's use scissors. Fire is dangerous. Just watch. Uh, what? Hey, this doesn't look good. Oh, you gotta be kidding. What is happening? Oh, what is this? Everyone evacuate now. Asami-san, please conduct it. E yes The incident turned into a small fire. That excuse that he had a lighter because we were planning to celebrate with the fireworks was not taken in. And Eiji was suspended under suspicion of tobacco use. As you all know, there was a small incident yesterday. A fire, specifically. A meeting was conducted on how to deal with it, and due to the strong will of the chairman, the Culture Festival is canceled for this year. Akiho, you're the chairman's daughter, right? Couldn't you do something about it? You can't even warn people as the class representative. Cancel the Culture Festivals, it's the worst. I did warn them. Huh? You couldn't stop them as a result. You're saying you take no responsibility in this. That's, I'm sorry. Why is this turning into Akio-san's fault? Okay, quiet. Listen until the end of my story. There is an event as an alternate of the Culture Festival. We're going to a music concert on the 19th, so make sure you all participate. Well, I heard it's an unpopular music band that the chairman forcibly pushed onto us. Aw, oh, what is that? Don't skip the event. The required attendance to the music concert made everything as bad as it could get. The anger towards the chairman pointed to Akio-san, his daughter. Her popularity has hit the ground. It was not only the classmates, but the entire school that presented her. From the next day, Akio-san stopped coming to school. She was also not seen at the required music concert that weekend. We're in the same group chat. I can message her if I wanted to. Someone has to talk to her. She hasn't come for a whole week now. But is it right for me to be that someone? We're not super close or anything. No, it's just a word or two. Are you feeling okay? Why couldn't I do anything to stop them? Akio-san has been regretting this whole time. Damn it, I was at the scene too. I could have stopped it if I wanted to. It's all because of that fire. Right, the glasses. I can go back in time, right? Then maybe I can stop the fire. The degree of the lenses looks good. Can I really travel back in time with this? No, Akio-san is having a hard time. I'm gonna be brave, just for now. Please turn back to the morning of September the 15th. What? Huh? A, was it a dream? N did I manage to go back? Right, my phone. The date says I did go back successfully, but hey, the work I put into bundling these up is gone. Oh, this is so much work. I'll take care of it some other time. I put on my contacts and went straight to school. The fire will occur after school ends. I spent the day thinking about how to stop the incident. Then, the coming after school hours. Let's use scissors. Fire is dangerous. Just watch. I bet nothing will change if I go up and warn him. Even after I lend him the scissors, he'll use the lighter anyway. Then, uh, hey, what are you thinking? 
If you cause a fire, the festival will be cancelled. No way this is gonna cause a fire. Give it to me. What? This rope is a lot more flammable than it looks. Oh, I see. That's my bad. Thank you, Ryota-kun. I should have been the one to stop him. I'm not fit to be class representative. You really are amazing. Not at all. I knew that would happen. You knew? Uh, nothing. Uh, anyways, didn't you have something you needed me to do? Right. About this. This should have solved the problem. The cancellation of the festival never happened the next day. And the day after that, Akio-san didn't skip school. But I'd say the thing that changed the most is... Wow! I wanted to see Ryota pulling off some cool action, too. It wasn't a big deal. Ryota, you can be humble, unlike Shigeru. Guys like that are popular among girls. Huh? B popular I can be humble, too. You should learn to take care of a girl first. I am able to take care of girls. Except you, though. Treat me like a girl, too. Damn it. Possibly because Akio-san seems to have recognized me, the people close to her started coming up to me. I guess I fit in a little more than before. It doesn't feel bad at all. Ryota-kun, you're still here. Could you come with me for a sec? Ah, uh, Akio-cha. Hey, you're working with me on the festival prep. Oh, why? My chest pounded as I wonder what she had said. As I followed her, Akio-san led me to an empty classroom, just the two of us inside. Um, I wanted to show you my gratitude again properly. Thank you so much. I asked my dad, and he said if there were a fire, the festival would be canceled. Uh, it's not a big deal. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. Ryota-kun, you're so kind. Say, do you happen to be free on the 19th? Oh, the music concert. If you don't have any plan already, would you want to go to the festival with me? Huh? Festival? They're famous for their fireworks. Have you ever gone? Of course I have. I'm free all day that day, from, from sunrise to sunset. That's great to hear. Then let's keep the date open. Thank you again, Ryota-kun. I see. So if there's no music concert, we can go to a festival. This is so awesome! I knew saving Akio-san was the right choice. I don't think I'll ever forget the smile Akio-san gave to me. Oh, I wonder if she's going to wear a yukata to the festival. I'm already so excited for September the 19th.